Gingerbread men have been a part of our Christmas tradition since we got married. For me, nothing says Christmas like the smell of molasses, ginger, and cloves filling the air. You can use whatever cookie cutters you have, but I've always been partial to the traditional. Besides, half the fun is decorating them and giving these guys their own little holiday flair. So grab a cup of hot cocoa. It's time to bake some magic in Mrs. Kringle's kitchen. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you can get more of my recipes. For returning subscribers, welcome back. To two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, add half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of ground ginger, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of ground cloves, and give it all a stir to combine and then set aside. To a mixing bowl, cream half a cup of shortening. Then add half a cup of sugar, one egg, one tablespoon of white vinegar, and half a cup of molasses. Mix until well combined and gradually add the flour mixture to the wet ingredients until a stiff dough forms. Divide the dough in half and wrap in plastic wrap and chill the dough for two to three hours. When you're ready to begin baking, preheat the oven to 375 degrees. To a mixing bowl, add one cup of softened butter, quarter teaspoon of sea salt, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and cream the ingredients. To that, gradually add three and a half to four cups of powdered sugar. To thin the consistency, add milk by the teaspoonful until it's to your preference. Flour your working surface and place your chilled dough down and a light sprinkle of flour on top. Begin rolling it out until you get it to about a quarter to a third inch thick. I always like to freak people out and use this Mondo gingerbread man and then put a sun next to him so that people can choose if they're gonna go for it or restrain themselves. Oh my god, the big one looks like he's been in a car accident. What a dork. Bake yours with the head straight. Bake them for five to seven minutes or until the edges are just set. Looks like me before and after baking season. Transfer to a wire rack to cool and then it's time for the fun. Place your frosting in a disposable piping bag, or if you don't have one, you can always use a sandwich bag and just clip the corner. There's no right or wrong way to decorate, just make whatever designs you like, and add cute little faces, and maybe little buttons on the body because who doesn't like a little frosting? Don't worry if it's not perfect, dipping it in sprinkles will hide any imperfections. How cute is he? Gingerbread men are an iconic part of the holidays, and this recipe has served me well for decades. Perfectly soft, but holds its shape and stays fresh for up to a week in an airtight container, though they never last that long here. Making a gingerbread sandwich cookie is our favorite way to enjoy them with a dunk and a pool of milk. For full printable recipes and more tips not found here, go to mrskringleskitchen.com. Subscribe and share the love with your foodie friends.